Okay, say something. Cheese. Family camp. Family camp. Let the good times roll. Family camp, right? There's, I think there's two in the country now or something only, uh, yeah. where you literally go to summer camp, but as a family. How, that's so fun. Yeah, you ready to say cheese? Oh. Look at that Ford family. How gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> You're taping. 30 something years going to this very same camp. You literally camp. went as a baby and uh -huh. you're still going. First year I went, I was one years old. July 1993. I feel like Deer Valley was where we all could just be quirky and goofy and free and no worries, no mm. stress. We got to family camp and then it was just like full on gone in the woods, hanging out with the guys, you know, doing all sorts of crafts and mountain biking around the lake and sailing. And yeah, you got to run around with your friends. Like, yeah. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> the Ford smile. Look, I'm trying to be cool. No, Leah, don't go in a circle. Mom still says that to me. I know. This goes straight. Slow it down, Steve. Honestly, I feel like Deer Valley definitely influenced my style, my design style. One, it was all mid-century architecture. Okay, there's our cabin, number six. Two, tons of nature. Mm -hmm. Lots of browns and greens and greenery. Three, rough living. Rough living, it's staying in your car and your sleeping bag. Mm, you're, I'm talking about the he normal human, Stephen. Uh-huh. Here's Jackie trudging up the path. Trudge, trudge, trudge. Come on in, y'all. Jackie, do you really want us to see this pig pen you live in? Hey, you live in it, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. You would think most of the time your parents would want to send you off to camp to get rid of you, but they would go to camp with us. And they would be on the other side of the cabin, so they're on one side of the cabin. You really live here? We're going to be cleaning it up tonight, dear. And then the three of they us. just let everything go when we went to summer camp, apparently. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. How could you be happy here? I guess. <laughs> it's like a sitcom. Oh, theirs is even worse, I think. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They really are like a sitcom. And then me and Michelle and you are on the other side. And this is Michelle's bed. And over here we have Stephen's bed. I always, for some reason, got that bed that folded out, and you guys got the nice bed. Because you're a boy. My whole life, I had to get the bed that folded out. It was totally uncomfortable. The cot. The cot. Wild animals. This just shows what a fun vacation we're having. If we weren't having a fun vacation, we would be in here cleaning, wouldn't we? All right, come on, let's get busy. This is your photographer speaking. I rarely have an opportunity to come out from behind the camera, but this is my special opportunity, and I say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> wow. They're in such a good mood. Oh, my goodness. I honestly feel like everything I needed to know in, in life, I learned at Deer Valley Summer Camp. I think so, too. And lots and lots of goofy personalities. I am going to jump the 9 to 12-year-old boys. <laughs> OK, family skits. Don't worry, I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. How about you? You feel pretty confident in them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, yeah. Oh. All the moms are scared. <laughs> Great. Now, what's what's next on the agenda? Well, I think our next night is going to be a dance with the nine to twelve year old girls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is totally where I got exposed to the outdoors. You know, we would start we would start camping there. Out like even though we're in this cabin, we would in a group we would go camp overnight. We would set up tents, have tarps. You know, part of like our programming was like just playing in the woods and playing survival or. Every type of sport or athletic, anything outside, we learned to do here. Mm -hmm. We usually, I would usually spend at least 
one day of every year's vacation at the Somerset Hospital because I would get hurt. I didn't know that. I mean, even to like two years ago, that's why my finger looks Put like that. Put that down. Because I smashed it at summer camp. But then we didn't just go to camp as a kid. We aspired to work there. To be part of that staff. So it was like. And then we did. So many life experiences happened at summer camp. I mean, all days are good days it, at summer camp. Yeah. I love family camp. Best, best part of childhood. Best memories and probably adulthood. adulthood.